So hello and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up and how to connect a small Wi-Fi controlled device or a self-locking module that you can attach to a gate controller or a garage door controller, as long as it's got a specific set of inputs on that circuit board. For example, these gates that you see in the video here, they've been installed for approximately 14 years. They've got an old LiftMaster CB11 circuit board or control board that controls the gates opening and closing. And what this self-locking module does is basically completes a circuit on two of the terminal inputs on that circuit board that controls the gates. And then that can be done via Wi-Fi or 4G once it's set up. So you can control your gates via the eWe Link app that actually you have to install to configure the device. But you can then link that eWe Link app to smart things, which then in turn lets you connect smart things to your uh, Google Home Assistant or your Alexa, depending on which one you're using. And you can then set up a routine or a voice command to open and close your gates. Um, so it can be controlled by voice from in the house or from your smart device. So if that is something you are interested in, then please do carry on watching this video. So hello and welcome to Nose Nose. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Wi-Fi control module so you can control your electric leaf gates or maybe your garage door opener via Wi-Fi or from your home assistant, something like Alexa or Google Home. Uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding a module in, which is this small Wi-Fi module that you can purchase from Amazon for about 15, 20 pounds or equivalent dollars. There are several different models. I'm going to be focusing on this particular one. I'm going to be connecting it to a Chamberlain CB11 control board, which is this particular one, this manual here. I'll just put a small picture just to my side, just so you can see which one I'm going to be working on. But they all have the similar type of inputs, so you can use this particular module on them. So all that happens is this particular module will send a small pulse, or you can set it to do a couple of different things. Again, I will link to that in the description and hopefully put it on the side of the video here. Uh, but it sends a small pulse out of two of the actual terminals here and sends them to your control board or your garage door opener. Uh, and then that activates the actual door to sell it to open close or open your leaf gates like so. So obviously if you're trying to convert your gates or your garage opener so you have control from your home assistant or maybe your uh, iPhone or Google Android device, whichever one you've got, then please do carry on watching this video. And um, just before we go into the details of the video, I'm not sponsored in any way by these guys or Amazon or anything like that. It's been purchased by myself. So any links that you see in the description box to purchase this particular device will be an affiliate link, uh, which basically means I get a small cutback in the profit. If you buy from that, you don't pay any more. So if that is something you're interested in, then please do carry on watching this video. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the uh, self-locking module and you can see it's got two terminals there. Uh, I'm gonna use these later on to connect to my uh, gate controller, but this allows a seven to 32 volt input. So as long as you've got something in that range, then you can connect it to that terminal block. For the bench uh, setup and test, I'm just gonna connect it to a five volt USB though. Uh, and you can use that as well if you don't have the uh, the power to come out your uh, circuit board. So you can use that if as long as you've got a plug near, say it's in a garage door, you can do that. So obviously the LED lights to tell me that um, the power is there. There's a small button there that I can push and that just changes the mode. That is the same as pushing the button within the app. So it's just a way of manually testing the actual circuit board by pushing that small little pop-it button. So let's put this down and let's get the app installed. So obviously I've got power onto my self-locking module. I just now need to install the app on my phone. So again, I'm gonna speed this up and just cut a couple of bits out where it asks for my password and stuff. But once we get into the eWe Link app, obviously click on allow and sign your life away. So once you've created your account and signed in, you're then brought to the next screen where we add the device. You click on add in the middle or the plus sign at the bottom, and then this will take you to the quick pairing menu next, which is right at the top. So click on the quick pairing big blue box there, as you can see there. And now we're gonna connect it to the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna to need to click add one device and then make sure that you're near your self-locking module because at this point we need to hold that button down that I'm indicating there for seven seconds until the light starts blinking. That shows it's in pairing mode. Then we need to allow the app access to the local network enter the network password so the module can connect to the Wi-Fi. And then it should 
go through this um, that you see on the screen here, counting down. You can see it's looking for the device at the moment in blue at the bottom there. It's retrieving the device info. And once it's done all this, it might say to you to update the firmware. So I suggest that you do that um, once, it, once you get into there. We're going to give the device a name at this point. So I'm just going to call mine Gates, uh, not Hates. <laughs> a bit of autocorrect going on for you there. Try again. Going for gates, like so. And you can also add it to a room. You can see there's a couple of ones at the bottom there. I'm just going to click on other um, and then click done for this uh, demo purposes. So there you go. It's device in, uh, connected to the Wi-Fi. It might take a few moments. And sure enough, there we go. There's the self-locking module that we've added. So we can do the test. And by pushing this button here, uh, we should briefly put the actual self-locking module on and off. You should hear the relay click while you've got it on the bench. So you can actually click on the box itself, sort of in the center of that, and it will take you to the larger button like so. This is the first time I've been in, so it's given me a small hint there, some great news. Um, but the point is here, you can see the actual red box along the top there where it's asking for the firmware. But the point is here, we need to make sure that we do this. Go into settings, and we need to set up engine mode when we go into settings. This is important because we don't want to leave an open circuit um, on the actual uh, control self-locking module to the circuit board. So you can see inching settings is there. Click on the inching settings. And then again, toggle right along the top, uh, right up at the top there. I just need to make sure that inching is selected and turned on. And then you can also set the inching duration uh, just underneath, which is on 0.5 seconds. The, but the point being here, make sure you click the save box in the top right hand corner once you've done it. So I'm gonna leave mine on 0.5 of a second, make sure inching is on and make sure that I've clicked save and then go back through the app. And again, I can click on the big button in the middle there just to see if the relay is clicking on and off. And I should hear the click every time I push on and off. And that tells me that the app is now controlling that module over my network. So to keep the video obviously shorter, I'm just going to show you the picture of where I installed my self-locking module. You can see it in the top right hand corner there, just stuck next to my circuit control board for my gates. And we're going to be wiring it into where I've indicated number four there which I will put a picture of my actual circuit board up so you can see which terminals it went on to. So this is my circuit board and I just got this off Chamberlain uh, LiftMaster website and you can see the number four there is where we're going to be wiring it in. So we need the power from the CB11 control board uh, to the actual self-locking module and you can see that I'm indicating the plus and minus is there. So make sure you get yours the right way around, especially if it's a different board than mine. It is 24 volts, uh, so if you remember I said it was 7 to 32, so that's fine. It's going to be enough power for the self-locking module coming from the uh, gates control board, circuit board. So next we need to attach the circuit wire, which completes the circuit. In my case, it's on 17 and 20, and you can see I've got my common attached to the center um, terminal block on the self-locking module, going to the common on the CB11 board, and I've got my red wire going to 17. Uh, and each time I push the app, it will do the inching mode and it will basically complete that circuit very briefly, send a pulse to the gates. So you can see I've just got the self-locking module just stuck in the top right hand corner there. Uh, bearing in mind this is Wi-Fi, so if it's a bit too near or not near enough to your Wi-Fi in the house, it will struggle to get a signal, so you might have to move the self-locking module out. But there we have it. Um, that's the actual self-locking module installed so we can test it via the app by standing in front of the gates obviously now i'm sort of a bit away from my wi-fi um, but like i said right at the beginning you can actually use your hey google but you need to uh, link that through ewe link to smart things and then link it to google home or alexa to control it via voice i'm not going to go into that uh, in this particular video because it will just make the video too long i always try to keep around the 10 minute mark um, so obviously to keep this video short i can't really go into the detail of how you connect the eWe link and the smart things and then your Google Home or Alexa. Uh, but if you're interested in knowing how to do that, then please do hit me with any comments below. They're always appreciated. Uh, and I will look at creating another video on how to create that link. That was me using the WeLink app. Um, next up is SmartThings. So if I just open SmartThings up, again, I've already set this up in here, but you basically open SmartThings, open the device in there, and then you can hit the button to open or close your gates like 
So, and all that does is send a, show, um, a signal to the Wi-Fi module to put a or complete a circuit across the two terminals that we connected earlier. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please do hit the thumbs up. Please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I make. And please consider subscribing to my channel. That's what motivates me to make more videos like this. And thanks again for watching Nose Nose on YouTube.